Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. For decades, at least 80 years and probably longer, our oceans have been used as a dumping place for toxic chemicals. Only since last October has it come to light that maybe as many as a half a million barrels of DDT were dumped in the ocean off the coast of California. Two new research vessels called Roombas are being deployed to investigate an area of a little over 78 square miles. And this is just one dumping site where the barrels of DDT that were banned in 1972 were dumped. They're only doing the research. They're not going to remove the barrels. They want to see how badly they decayed. And these two robotic uh, research vessels, they're still in the testing stage. They know they're leaking. Um, they have fish from old records that show they have very high levels of DDT. Same with the dolphins and sea lions have developed cancer. And they know that the DDT is um, contained in their blubber. If and whenever they decide to clean up, they don't even know who would be legally liable for the cleanup. Because it was so toxic in 1972, the United States banned the use of DDT. It was a very potent insecticide. One of the fallouts because of the no longer being able to use DDT is the infestation around the world of bed bugs. They even have them on our nuclear submarines. There was an article recently posted how the USS Connecticut has been trying to eradicate the infestation of bed bugs to no avail. This is just one site off of the Santa Catalina Islands where these barrels have been dumped. Here you can see Long Beach, California, etc. And people have been consuming the fish from this area. And who knows what kind of health effects. I'm sure there's been health effects from eating the fish with the high levels of uh, DDT. Old reports, so they knew about this for decades, found that high levels of DDT, DDT are in three species of deep water fish. Cancer growth in sea lions is somehow exaggerated by all the DDT and other persistent chemicals accumulating in their blubber. They don't mention shellfish, but you know the contamination is in shellfish. All the way back in 1990, they knew about the radioactive waste. There was an article on the Mercury News about a World War II aircraft carrier off the coast of San Francisco by the Farlon Islands that was leaking plutonium. Over 47,500 drums of radioactive waste were dumped from 1946 to 1970 in the Gulf of the Farallons. This here article is from the New York Times. The article states that back in 1990, a fourth of the 55-gallon barrels had ruptured and were threatening to contaminate the Pacific herring, dover, sole, rockfish, sablefish, crabs, etc. That was 40 years ago. And far as I know, still nothing has been done to clean up the radioactive mess. A Miss Wayburn stated back in 1990, now she was in charge of a nonprofit environmental group at Stenson Beach there, said that there was no evidence of immediate peril. Now that was 40 years ago. We have been living with this dump for more than 50 years and been monitoring it for reproductive abnormalities and haven't noticed anything unusual, she said. Plutonium can last for hundreds and thousands of years. In past studies, sediment at the Farlon Islands have shown heightened, higher than normal levels of plutonium and cesium, possibly more than 1,000 times the level expected to occur in nature. <laughs> like I said, that was 40 years ago. Nothing to see, no one to worry about. She was a member of the Point Reyes Bird Observatory, someone that you would think would be monitoring and protecting our environment. DW had an article 
I'm not sure of the date that it was published, but the data they give is from 1999 about how much radioactive material has been dumped into our oceans. This became a concern when Fukushima melted down after the earthquake, the 9.0 earthquake and tsunami there off the coast of Japan. And it shows nuclear waste in the sea, radiation in Terebeckles off the coast of California says uh, 550 the east coast 2940 and that was from a report in 1999 from 1946 to 1993 more than 200,000 tons of waste some of it highly radioactive was dumped in the world's ocean mainly in metal drums, according to the International Atomic Energy Agency. Several nuclear submarines, including nuclear ammunition, were also sunk during this time. Most of the share of the dumping came from Britain and the Soviet Union. By 1991, the U.S. had dropped more than 90,000 barrels and at least 190 cubic meters of radioactive waste in the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. But other countries, including Belgium, France, Switzerland, and the Netherlands, also disposed of tons of radioactive waste in the North Atlantic in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, the article states. Then there's all that nuclear testing, such as the Bikini Islands. Here on Wikipedia, it says the United States detonated 23 nuclear devices between 1946 and 1958 at seven test sites on the reef. Some of the residents who originally lived on the island were moved three times. Um, those that didn't end up starving to death or die from the high levels of radiation, the United States government did establish um, a trust fund, which as of 2013, according to this article, covered medical treatment and other costs and paid about $550 annually to each of the remaining individuals. Oh, that was so generous of them. Many of you will remember the wasting disease that they attributed to the die-off of the starfish after Fukushima. I probably wouldn't eat anything that would come from the ocean nowadays. Yeah, how many more decades or maybe even centuries before the ocean's dump sites have been cleaned up. So we'll just have to add DDT to the list of contaminations that were dumped into our oceans that was only revealed five months ago. You know, I think about how God is not going to let us destroy the earth. Well, how bad does it got to get before he does something? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.